Hello, YouTubers, um, and my lovelies, my very own crew. Um, as promised, I am back with another hair tutorial. About time, huh? Um, and today we are doing the French rope. This was a request from a long time ago, um, and I was pretty sure, okay, I was positive you couldn't do it on yourself because with all the, the rolling and the wrapping and the yeah, the twisting, I just didn't think it was possible because you need an extra hand to hold on to what's twisted. Um, and since it's on the back of your head, you can't use your mouth as the third hand, you know. So, uh, but turns out I was wrong. You can do it. Um, it is just an arm killer. It really hurts your shoulders. <laughs> um, but I'm here to show you that you can do it. Um, but if you have a problem with, you know, mobility or just don't have the arm strength, um, get somebody to help you. You just need one hand. Um, when you get stuff twisted, if you could just have somebody hold on to it and you can do the other part, you'll be gravy. Um, but for those of us that are like super studs, oh, muscles, um, ah, I'm here to show you. You can do it yourself. All right. Um, as you know, with all my, uh, French type braids, uh, I don't like to start up front because then you got the, the mohawk thing going on. And while it looks cool on dudes, um, there are only very few women that can pull off that look. Um, I am not one of them. <laughs> I am neither edgy enough or is my face pretty enough to go with, you know, that kind of style. All right. So we're going to start right about mid back of our head. So get your beginning section separated and smooth out. All right. And now we're going to separate this section into two equal parts. Ah, oh, those feel fairly equal. And we're going to twist. So starting out, we're going to twist this way. Uh, both strands need to be twisted in the same direction. So we get that going. Now we'll switch to the other side and get it twisted. All right, now we're going to twist them in that direction. Taking this right hand strand over the top of the left. And a couple more twists, like so. Now, um, you'll want to twist over uh, just the once, Ugh. and then add. All right, like so. And then twist some more. Now you can see why this is the ultimate arm killer because you have to hold and add and twist all on the back of your head, which is a bit difficult, I must say. So you will see me resting my arms quite a bit. And to save time, as always, I'm just going to speed this up because that's all we're doing. Adding some hair and then twisting it up in the twist we already have started. And remember, we're twisting that way and then twisting them this way, together. All right. And now I'm going to shut up so I can speed this up.
see, I'm sweating because this is a workout. And I have the doors closed in here, so, you know, I'm hot now. But the easiest part is when you finally get to the nape of your neck because you can put it over your shoulder and thus end the strain on your arms. So we're just gonna finish this up real quick and put a hair tie on the end. And then I'm gonna take a look at it and see if it looks okay. Um, this is not the neatest of the uh, braids that I can do by any stretch of the imagination. Although I'm sure if I practiced it more often, it would get nice and neat. However, as I showed you, it is a bit of an arm killer. Not something I really want to practice all the time. But it's fairly neat. There you go. The French rope. It is possible to do it yourself. I've got a little bumpity happening. There. <sighs> now that I'm all shiny. Um, anyways, there you go. There's your French rope. Ta-da! It is possible on your own head of hair. Yay. And uh, it's very good for building up some biceps because all that twisting. Man, repetitive motion. Um, and as you can see, I cut my bangs or my fringe. Um, a lot of you expressed delight that I was letting it grow. I wasn't letting it grow. I was just too lazy and hadn't trimmed it. Didn't realize how long my bangs had gotten until the last video where I was constantly fuss fussing with them. So it was time for a trim. Anyways, there we go. There is your French rope. Um, I will be back soon with, uh, I'm going to show you actually how to do the uh, Harley braid um, to protect your hair if you're a motorcycle mama or motorcycle gentleman, I don't know, biker dude, whatever. Any hoodles, um, I'll come back with that one to show you a good technique for putting your ribbon on. And um, I know there's another one. I can't remember what it was, but it'll be here before too long. It is another braid. So that should be fun. Alrighty, I will see you all later. Until then, have a great day.